Take this big old hook. Let me get a Good look old. at it. You can tie off. You can do it a lot of different ways, but rig hook makes it easy because you have some reach. You can even take a, a gallon jug of water, put a rope on it, and throw it over one of the one of the poles. So let's hook up and get to fishing. There we go. Yeah. Got a sardine. Sardine down pretty low. Don't know what I got. Look what we got. Get you some of that. Oh, look at that, baby. <laughs> got myself a little snapper. A snapper, red snapper. There you go, folks. Well, how far are we out, Marty? Uh, we're only about 12 miles. All right, we're about 12 miles out. You've never seen a sabiki rig before. This is a great way to catch bait. I know we talked about it on episode one, didn't we, Marty? Yep, we sure did. There's your white bait. And uh, mainly was taking that out and sending it out free line. And uh, Ty, Ty was putting it up on the, on the launchers, the rocket launchers, and man, those things wasn't taking five minutes, and something would hit that fish. And we were rolling. Oh, yeah! Right here. Free lining with steel, 45 pound steel leader because of their eyesight. You gotta keep it kind of small. We got a monster right here, buddy. Oh, yeah. He took that whole. Blue runner, no problem at all. That's a king, huh? Oh man, he inhaled it, bro. I mean, and you're watching 30 miles out, and this is a Texas sized kingfish. What? We were fly lining again. Some white baby caught on Sabiki. Oh yeah, man. He has got some shoulders on him. There's a shark. No, we got a shark. a shark. Woo! Pretty fish, bro. He's nice. Crab. Oh, look at a crab. Oh. Crab and a shark. What? Oh, yeah. Is that pretty or is that pretty? He's free. Back down to the oblivion. I was going to try to pull him up on the gunnel, but the sucker just wouldn't wear out, would he? No, he wouldn't. He didn't want to lay down for nothing. No, man. 30 miles out. Offshore, off the Texas coast, first first set of short rigs, probably 10 miles out. You never know what's gonna hit out here, boy. I tell you what, partner. What? Chris, you caught something that uh, that busted your line, huh? Yeah, I fought it for a couple minutes and it busted. Uh, what was that 30 pound braid? Yeah, busted it clean. Uh -huh. Really? Oh, folks, I got a whale. I don't have a whale. Marty's green. Marty's sick. I'm all alone. At least somebody. Oh, oh I got it. I gained some line on this rascal and he takes it. I don't know what I got, folks, but this rascal. This rascal's been putting the screws to me. About what? 15 minutes now. Marty's green. I had to get out my uh, my robot cameraman. Steel leader on this sucker. 
All right, folks, I'm gonna do my best to get this on film for you. Ah, oh, it's a king for sure. All right. Oh, that's, a nice, that's a nice one. All right, folks. Whoa. King number two, Texas Gulf Coast Rigs. The winning combination here is fly lining. What I mean by fly lining is no weight, three foot steel leader, single strand, and then some white bait we catch on the sabiki. Very lively stuff. You throw it out there with a small egg sinker or no weight at all. And that's what you get right there. What's the star, gentlemen? Got a lot of those little red snapper. Like four or five little reds? Little red snapper, yeah. Alright folks, what we're doing is we're gonna do a little bit of trolling. And uh we're trolling one short, which are trolling a snapper slapper, which has got a weight on the end, and we got a sardine on there. So we're trolling in a little deeper, a little closer in. And then we got this guy. We're gonna put him in the water. Get that kind of action. He's going to drop down about 20 feet. What we're just going to do is let him go behind the boat. Big Spanish. That's a Spanish. King. I saw that, Dave. Folks, we are out here in the Gulf. Somewhere right off the coast of Cuba. No, I'm just kidding. We're about 10 miles off the Texas coastline. Trolling around the short rigs. About 10 miles out, I say. Picking up some large Spanish kings. Trying to get a cobia. But uh, we hooked up to the rig earlier. We had real good success fly lining white live baits that we were catching sabiki jigging. And now we're trying to cool down a little bit and do some trolling in the heat of the day. And uh, see if we can't pick up. Let's see what happens. Yeah, we got a ripper. Marty. <laughs> Woo! Ah. Man, look at that, huh? Is that pretty with that, with that water or what? All right, we're gonna, I'm gonna gap him. Gap himself. Whoa! Here we go again, folks. Texas Kings. Deep diving Rapala. It's a Rapala. About a 20 foot diver. Around the rigs. Get my plies here. What's up? We're about 200 yards off of that sucker. And he just hammered it. It's burning. I stuck my finger with the gaff. All right, folks, I'm going to take it to the house. Yo, well, folks, we made it back. So we got a couple of little, little perch. Bam, what? Yeah, we got some little bitty perch in there, dude. For some reason, when you throw those fish in your ice chest, that ice makes them shrink. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> right, folks, thanks for watching 30 Miles Out. I'm Ty. This is the Texas King of the Rings. We'll catch you next time.